Welcome everybody to Extreme Power No Handling Autocross. Today we're dealing with the 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Now this has a 995 horsepower, 829 pounds feet of torque from a 7 litre supercharged V8 engine and the car itself weighs 3,260 pounds and it can do 0 to 16 4.264 seconds, 0 to 108.690 seconds going into a top speed of 167 miles an hour. So yeah, I chose this purely because the uh, pre in the previous episode we had the 1970, 1970 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 which put in an impressive time of 1 minute 1.328 seconds which is the second fastest from a uh, muscle car, sports car from the America from the 60s, 70s, so uh, yeah, I thought I'd give a uh, older Corvette Stingray uh, a try, so uh, yeah, this has more power than that ZR1 though, and it's slightly lighter in terms of weight, so it's got better acceleration, better top speed, uh, but the handling is slightly less, but the braking is apparently the same, so uh, yeah, no idea how this is going to do, hopefully it will do even better than that ZR1, so let's uh, see what this one can do. Hopefully it will come even closer towards beating that Dodge Dart Hemi Superstock, or beating it at all, which would be a real, really good, quite frankly. But yeah, this car is slightly older than that ZR1, but I don't think it's going to be uh, by too much. Well, I don't think it's going to be too much to make a difference, quite frankly. Hopefully this extra power and being slightly w uh, lighter will help. 25 extra horsepower and it weighs about 15 pounds less as well, so should have no problem in terms of acceleration. That's handling everything okay so far. a surprise quite frankly because I've always found this car to be one of the uh, less fun cars to drive from the Corvette range but there that's an impressive first lap time 1 minute 2 seconds 0 0.262 which means we're not even all that far off what the ZR1 did overall in the last episode I think we're going to beat it quite frankly I did try upgrading this car with its original engine and even though we got a fairly decent amount of power, we got nearly 800 horsepower, it wouldn't have been fair to have given this so much less power than the uh, previous Corvette. So, if I give them around the same amount of horsepower, though this obviously does have slightly more. But obviously that does bring into the equation of being able to handle the power or not. But it's doing it so far at 1 minute 2.095 being the latest time. So we've slightly improved there, but we're still 0.7 or so a second off the uh, ZR1. Damn it, did we miss that? Yeah, shit. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's going to ruin that lap in terms of being clean. Turned in a bit too soon and missed it. And once you commit to such a manoeuvre, you are uh, highly unlikely to be able to get out of it. We'll use this lap to have a better entrance into the first corner for the next one. Even though it does handle most of the power okay, it will oversteer as you have seen. So you really can't push it too hard. And 
the suspension is quite soft, so at times the handling can go a little bit floaty and a little bit unresponsive, or at least lacking any feel. Much quicker for that corner there. I think that wide line into it is a lot better than taking it tight. Well, we've beaten the ZR1. We've got time of 1 minute 1 second point zero two eight, but we've still got the final lap to try and get even closer to that dodge dart. No, damn. But yeah, that car, this car is easily one of the best ones that we've had from that era at 1 minute 1 1.028, which means it is quicker than the uh, ZR1 from 1970 by about 1.3 of a second. No, 0.3 of a second even, sorry. And uh, yeah, that means it's also beaten all the other cars that that beat last time round, but we're uh, still some way off the uh, Dodge Dart Hemi at uh, 58 seconds, 0.258. So, uh, yeah, still about three seconds off it, but, you know, we are getting closer, and, uh, yeah, these Corvettes are being a lot better than I was expecting, quite frankly. Didn't think there would be that much of a big difference between Corvettes from the era and, uh, you know, your typical muscle cars from that era, but evidently there is, because the uh, 1979 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 is the only other car outside of these two Corvettes to, uh, you know, as well as the Ford Falcon X8, GTH, oh sorry, uh, are the only other muscle cars to really come close to what these Corvettes have been doing, but everything else has been 1 minute 3 or above, like the Ford Mustang Boss 302, the Carrera's of VH Valiant, the uh, Chevrolet El Camino, the Ford XB Falcon GT, so uh, yeah, I am really, really surprised by how uh, big of a difference it is between Corvettes and muscle cars from that time, but that's one reason why I like doing this series, it, really does show the kind of differences between different kind of cars and uh, yeah it's quite a lot bigger than uh, I was expecting between these and muscle cars so yeah unfortunately there aren't all that many other Corvettes we can try we could try I think we might try out the even older uh, 1960 Corvette that we have or maybe even the 50s one maybe that'll uh, be a big surprise but I'm really not certain that any of them will do as well as this one or the Z01. But nonetheless, this car's done bri brilliantly and uh, yeah, really impressed by how uh, smooth it was to drive, quite frankly. Only a couple of overseer issues and besides that, it was pretty solid. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.